Greetings, it's Eric Backer, New Zealand naturopath, author of Candida Crusher. Thank you for tuning into my video today. <clears throat> today I'm going to talk about fluconazole. So fluconazole is a pharmaceutical antifungal drug. It's also known by the name as diflucan. So fluconazole also is present in a vaginal uh, cream called canistin that many women tend to use. I've seen many patients over the years who've taken diflucan, some with reasonably good success, but in most cases, the drug's been taken recurrently with very, very poor long-term results. So the best result you're going to get from any pharmaceutical drug usually is the very first time you take it. Okay, the body's not used to the drug. It will have a powerful effect and give the achieved, you know, the desired result. But then what happens is the drug's discontinued. So then the symptoms come back. Then the drug's used again and again and again. And eventually the body builds resistance to diflucan. So, you know, the resistance is well documented. I've seen some patients who take this drug weekly or monthly for years on end with bad results. <clears throat> and in many cases, they end up with significant side effects, particularly hepatic or liver side effects, because diflucan affects phase two or the glucuronidation pathway of the liver. And it can make a person quite nauseous or sick. They can get skin reactions, they can get headaches, they can get insomnia. They can get a whole range of different side effects from diflucan. So I've got a pharmaceutical drug guide here, and I'm going to read out some of the common side effects of diflucan now, So, or fluconazole. So side effects include gastrointestinal upset, headaches, elevated liver function test, abnormal vision or skin odor, skin rashes, hot flushes, weakness, thirst, shaking in the body, polyuria, which means urinating a lot, renal pain or pain in the lower back, kidney pain, dizziness, seizures, skin itching, sweating, fevers, drug eruptions, you know, more skin, skin rashes, sleeping disturbances and insomnia, nervousness, pain, female sexual dysfunction, menstrual disorders, respiratory disorders, deafness, heartburn, high blood pressure, liver damage. So... Why the hell would you want to take a drug that creates all these problems? Just to give you some temporary relief from, you know, a vaginal yeast infection or, you know, some kind of a yeast infection you might have. There are natural ways you can get on top of these infections without resorting to drugs. Have a look at yeastinfection.org for some natural solutions. And if, you, if you're thinking about an antifungal drug and you want to get some results but don't want the side effects with it, have a look at the product I developed called Canzida. It's going to be more powerful than fluconazole. You don't need to take it for years on end. You're not going to get all of these side effects, which I've just read out here. So it's certainly worth a shot. So think about it. If you're going to take fluconazole, take it once, but don't take it recurrently. There's no point and you're wasting your time doing that. You're only going to get drug resistance and also liver toxicity from taking it. So I hope that answers a frequently asked question I get on this particular drug, fluconazole. Thank you for tuning in.